Welcome back. Q4 FI23 earnings season has come to an end right now. And to discuss the way forward, we are joined uh, by the head of research at Ilara Securities, Dr. Bino Pathi Parampir, uh, to get a comprehensive review of the quarter gone by and the way forward. Uh, Bino, um, Q4 has been fairly good, right? 69% of the companies that Ilara covers met estimates, 46 of them beat estimates. However, despite a robust Q4, Profit estimates, the PAT estimate for FY24 and FY25 has been downgraded by you by nearly 1%. And this was largely in the large cap space because mid cap performance has been fairly good. Can you explain that dichotomy? Why, despite a Q4, have we seen downgrades for the profit estimates? Because the commodity cycle is also turning in terms of uh, commodity inflation is coming down, which should technically boost margins from here on. Hi, good morning. So um, we have seen a great quarter, like you said, 70% uh, of the, our coverage universe met ex estimates uh, and 45% and almost beat them. Uh, but the forward estimates saw an overall marginal downgrade of 1%, which uh, I believe was primarily driven by the IT sector um, and uh, the material sector within that, but in particular the metals sector. So in IT, we saw uh, a significant uh, degree of downgrades. The results were poor. Companies, large companies missed uh, some of the expectations. And going forward also, there is a cloud over the outlook, how the IT demand will pan out in the developed world over the next couple of years. All this have led to, has led to this, uh, significant level of earnings downgrades in IT. Uh, if I look at our coverage universe, out of 10 companies, uh, we have downgraded the earnings for nine of them. Uh, this combined by the downgrades in metals, mainly because of the uh, metals prices, commodity prices falling, has led to um, the overall downgrade of 1%. And since most of these companies are large caps, I believe that is reflecting in the large cap space. Uh, but in the mid-cap space, uh, we have seen good earnings momentum in 4Q, which is reflecting in an overall 2% upgrade of earnings for FY24 and 25 in our coverage universe. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, this is, uh, so you, uh, uh, overall FY24 Nifty earnings have been pulled down by how much? Sorry, you said I missed that number. Sorry, our... In our coverage universe, uh, we have downgraded the overall FY24 uh, estimates by 1%. Okay. But for okay. mid-caps coverage universe, we have uh, raised it by 2%. Okay. Uh, you, you know, <clears throat> is, is it also a question of high starting expectations? I mean, you put those numbers out, right? Uh, uh, the number of uh, companies which beat expectations is over 60%. But you're still seeing, uh, for the, maybe even for that same 60%, 66%, I think you said, uh, you're seeing full-year estimates being down, uh, you know, pulled lower or not going up despite the beats. And that is a function of very high uh, expectations out there, uh, aren't they? I mean, so will, you continue, will we continue to see this uh, going forward even if, I mean, earnings, and we're almost done with two months of the first quarter, just uh, into the third month now, even if this, this quarter, Q1 of 24 Numbers are a beat. Will it lead to upgrades or you think, I mean, that's unlikely? I don't think, I don't foresee uh, more earnings cuts as we go along unless there is major disappointments by companies uh, because this downgrade primarily was driven by two things. Like I mentioned, the major expectation reset uh, in the IT sector and a major um, decline in commodity prices, metals in particular. So these two are already factored into the forward estimates uh, as per our um, estimates. Uh, so unless there is any major further disappointment from any of the major sectors or if there is another round of uh, uh, commodity price changes, uh, I would not expect uh, downgrades going forward. Okay, got that. Pino, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, one space that really sort of popped this earnings season and was better than expected most uh, for most companies is the auto pack, right? I mean, it did quite well. We were looking at the May sales numbers also looking pretty good there. What do you expect on just these companies going forward? And if you are to play the um, auto pack, what do you like within this space? 
Sure. Ortho um, is a sector which we like as a house. So it is one of our top uh, pick sectors uh, for the near to medium term. There are multiple head uh, tailwinds playing out there. Uh, one, we believe that the rural demand is bottoming out in, in the next six months. We expect some uptick in that. Uh, the falling inflation is one of the major factors in there. Um, second, uh, the, the correction in metal prices are going to help input prices for the auto companies. So we can expect some margin expansion as well. Uh, in 4Q itself, we saw a good amount of margin expansion coming from uh, falling input prices for the auto sector. We expect that to continue going forward. All put together, auto sector is one of our top uh, ideas um, uh, to outperform the market. Within that, our top picks are Multi and Hero, um, and followed by TBS Motors. Mm. Uh, you know, one of your top picks is IEX in the utility space. And yesterday, we had the May operational update. And uh, prices have come off very significantly. I think the company indicated that spot prices of power are, is down 30%, and that weighed on the stock. Uh, are you worried that this trend might continue? Does it change your assessment of IEX? So um, from a very short term, there could be expectation mismatches that uh, lead to such price volatility. But overall, uh, we believe that there is good value in the power sector, including IEX and other names such as NTPC, uh, SJB, and et cetera. Uh, we believe that over the next one to three years, uh, we can see good returns generated in the power sector. Uh, but such short term fluctuations, which are very typical of the bottom of the cycle, may uh, happen. Uh, but as a medium to long term investor, one need not worry about that. So IEX continues to be one of our topics. Okay. Um, you know, another one of your topics I was looking at is Nika. So take us through the rationale over there. Is it that valuations have now corrected enough for you to feel comfortable? And also, is there anything else within the newer companies that you that you like now? So um, if, if I look at the overall market, uh, you know, over the four, next four to six months, uh, I see some momentum uh, uh, in, in, in the market, uh, which will help some of these new, new sectors, uh, especially the IT internet sector. Uh, part of the reason is the overall uh, economic scenario with inflation. Uh, kind of stabilizing rate cut, uh, rate uh, rates, uh, the, the central banks pausing on rates and possible rate cuts, which may come in the next four to six months' time. All this could help uh, revive some valuation uh, comfort uh, for all these new sectors, entire market uh, for that matter, but uh, that will be more reflected in some of these new sectors, which originally benefited from the quantitative easing. Uh, then over the last couple of years, during the quantitative tightening, tightening we saw that these sectors suffered the most. Uh, some amount of pullback in these uh, sectors uh, is something which uh, we expect over the next four to six months. Uh, beyond that, how it play, play out, how it plays out will depend upon the trajectory of the inflammation and rates, which is a little unpredictable at this stage. Uh, but we do expect um, uh, some returns to be made in the meanwhile uh, in all those newer stocks, uh, including Nika, Sumato, etc., which uh, we have already started seeing some uptick in the prices. Hmm. Uh, what about AFL? Can you talk about AFL? Because the company's growth rates have moderated a bit in the recent past. They have about two-thirds of your revenues are exposed to exports, and some of the clients there are cutting budgets. Uh, so the company's quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth rate has been getting impacted off late. Are you worried that these near-term challenges are going to last for a little bit longer? So like we uh, discussed in case of IEX, uh, near-term, there are some growth pressures uh, which we are witnessing there. Uh, but we like that name as a long-term structural play. Uh, the, the kind of shift of advertising revenue happening from the general um, network uh, to very focused uh, internet-based advertising is going up. And uh, there is a long-term structural play in there. 
And in India, the best way to play that remains Apple. We have very limited choices in there. So to that extent, it remains a structural play. Uh, any significant weakness because of near-term weakness uh, would be an opportunity to buy into this long-term story. Okay, got that. Bino, thanks a lot for joining us today. And we do hope to have you on the show more often so that we can discuss some of your other picks as well. But thank you for taking out the time and speaking to us today. With that, we are going to head into a short break now for the markets. We are holding at that 80 and 650 level. The Nifty Bank absolutely flat. So let's take a short break. And then on the other side, we're going to discuss the technicals with Jay Thakkar.